Hello sports fans, welcome to Sports in 3. I'm your host and sports editor here at the Daily Egyptian Style Smith. And fell, uh, joining me on the show today are fellow Sports Desk members Ray McGillis and Ryan Simone. Guys, thanks for joining me. Pleasure to be here. Alright, we're going to start off with a little men's basketball today. Last night, SIU loses in overtime 83-78 to Creighton. Blew a nine point second half lead. Guys, what do you think uh, you think's going on with the team right now? Well, you know, they, they really came out strong in that game and they built the hopes up for the fans in the final game at SIU Arena. And they, it looked like they had it in the bag, but they just came out in the second half and I don't know if it was lax days of a play, but they felt a big rival Creighton. So, in overtime, oh, last game at the SIU Arena, way to go out. Well, I felt uh, that the second play was really a lack of focus. Um, I think that when you're up like that, you really got to take control of that game and make sure that you're doing the things you need to be doing to uh, keep that lead. And I feel like it was just a complete lack of focus on SAE's part. Uh, Tony Freeman, he hasn't been here for four years. He's a transfer here from Iowa, but loses his last game here at the SIU Arena. Got to be, uh, he was visibly upset. Just looked heartbroken in the post game, you know. Just talk about that a little bit. Well, see, that that's probably one of the things with the team. It is a, it is a fairly young team. They only have one senior, so I mean, for it was senior night, and granted, there's only one senior being honored, but that that might be a, a, a part of the problems that the team has been experiencing. So just their relative youth, but they, they have shown signs of you know being able to just mature as a season, as just in the season itself. So it's it, there's some optimism in that. Well, I mean, I think anybody in that situation, uh, you know, it's their last game. Um, you're going to see a lot of emotion, and it just to, to to see the way things ended, um, it was just a heartbreaker. I think it was heartbreak for anybody that that watched the game. You know? Yeah, and, and you can't forget about the fact that the Salukis were without leading scorer Kevin yeah. Dillard. Only had one point guard. That was freshman Kendall Brown Searles, and mm -hmm. just tough, tough. Only having one ball handler right. against the the press of Creighton. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, young on Creighton, he when he wanted when he wanted to drive to the basket, he went with ease. So the Dillard, Dillard would have been a big uh, addition out there, but on defense at least to try to slow Young down. Uh, moving on to a little hockey here, uh, SI, uh, the U uh, Team USA advance, advances to the uh, to the Olympic semifinals today, beating uh, being Switzerland two nothing. Guys, just talk about the team. Um, well, honestly, uh, there was two things going on. There was great goaltending by US. And um, also, I felt that uh, the scoring uh, opportunities were great. Uh, Brian Rafalski had two goals, and uh, you know, for anybody to get two goals in an Olympic hockey game is a big deal. And I felt that um, Miller came out and played extremely well, and he, uh, you know, he kept the puck out of the net. So yeah, well, tonight tonight's game is Canada versus Russia, so the Americans better be watching that game because they, they, they most likely one of those teams will be in the gold medal game, and if they're lucky enough to get there, they'll probably be taking all of them. So. That'll do it for this edition of Sports in 3. Make sure to check back every week for the newest edition.